and Reno, McPeak, and Sorelli. This is the way we called it. Sorelli just screaming at her partner to cover the court. A fabulous play by Holly McPeak, utilizing a cut shot along the net, made popular by Kathy Gregory, a, a former great women's star. So McPeak and Sorelli have control here at Manhattan. They lead 12 to 9 in our women's final. We were tied at 8, but then Sorelli and McPeak have started to assert themselves. Cami Sorelli blocking at the net in blue, and her partner decked out in 4th of July colors. McPeak playing hellacious defense in the backcourt. McPeak with the serve. And she whips it out of bounds. 12 to 9. McPeak and Sorelli lead here. Rock and Reno, what do they have to do quickly? Serve much tougher. Physically capable to bomb, jump serves, and then when they get a chance to score, they got to step it up a notch, be much more aggressive. Like in Chicago, they're being tentative in the finals. Pretty good serve. Right there. Right. Sorelli right. deep. And she puts it down. Sammy Sorelli, her husband, Rocky Sorelli, a longtime volleyball player, now the coach at Huntington Beach High School. CIF champions this year for boys volleyball. No easy task. The best high school boys volleyball in the country is played within about 50 miles of right here. Rock rocks one down the line in the corner. Good side out. Rock and Reno just have to step it up defensively. They've got to match dig for dig the smaller team of Sorelli and McPeak. That last cut shot by Sorelli from the left side going down easily cannot happen. Nancy Reno, black hat, red suit, trailing by three. Nobody hit! And once again, down the line, Holly McPeak. Good setting by Sorelli. Well, they have gotten themselves out of trouble. Bad pass the play before. McPeak gives her partner something hittable. And this was a great serve reception diving, as a matter of fact, by Holly McPeak to get the serve from Nancy Reno. 12 serving nine. And see you again, says Angela Rock. Talked a lot about Angela Rock being a member of the fire department for San Diego City. Made two CPR saves in a brief two years. She said most of the job, 90%, is making CPR saves or something to do with medical. And it's not just fighting fires. Cut! And that ball out of bounds. I asked her what was it like to work as a fireman, a fire person. She said, it is not like backdrive, let me tell you. <laughs> More to it than that. A lot of it's psychological, dealing with first aid. Yeah, a lot of preparation work. A lot of 911 calls when you're dealing with people uh, who are homeless, down and out. 12 to 10. Could be another point coming up here. Rock. Can she fire one down? Not yet. McPeak. Shot making out of trouble. Another point scoring opportunity for Reno and Rock, and they don't capitalize. Sorelli and McPeak are just making the right shots, and frustration here got to be on the part of Rock and Reno. See Cami Sorelli still recovering from a dislocated big toe on her left foot. No, she doesn't only like to wear one shoe. She's protecting a very, very bad injury. Doesn't want to roll that toe under once again. Ooh, that was a close set. Sorelli has it. And McPeak puts it away. Little pinball defense points. Boy, as we saw in Chicago, Rock and Reno are getting tentative right now. Nancy Reno just took a look at the scoreboard and is wondering about timeouts available. She better start worrying about hitting jump serves, blocking the ball. 
Angela Rock chose Nancy Reno as a partner because of her ability to block. How many stuffs in this final so far? Zero. A five to two run. Eight, eight. We now stand 13, serving 10. AVP Women's Challenge. Rock, girls one. I don't even think McPeak can get to that one. That's way out of bounds. Killaloop Manhattan Beach Open, one of the great settings for professional beach volleyball and a capacity crowd in one of the great arenas you will find in beach volleyball. Historic Manhattan Beach, Nancy Reno serving. No block this time. Nice dig. Reno's got to get out of the way. Well, you, you got to move. You got to be more aggressive. We heard Cami Sorelli earlier yell at her partner, Holly McPeak, five times. You, you, go, go, go. And I just don't see that kind of drive out of Reno and Rock. Point scoring opportunity by the board once again. McPeak and her team leading by three. And going on two, right into the corner is Nancy Reno. Reno, the defending world champion in this event held last year at Manhattan Beach. And interestingly, she beat her partner, Angela Rock, in the final. So they're teamed up together in this one. Hey, nobody, nobody. Come on. Reno's there. Oh, and Rock can't go. 13 to 10, Sorelli McPeak lead. Well, once again, a good fake block there, and the play is on, but Angela Rock probably waiting too far. She's got to read. As soon as the ball is hit away from her, she's got to chase a lot harder to help her partner, Nancy Reno. Sorelli with the serve. You got line. Touch, Ball kept in play. Line, hurry. And Rock gets it out of bounds. Sorelli and McPeak now. 14 and game point on the next serve. Timeout for Rock and Reno. 14 to end the score. 136. So Rock and Reno play. up against game point, the AVP Women's Challenge. More after this. July weekend here in Southern California, the grand mommy of them all. The Killaloop Manhattan Beach Open capacity crowd. It is championship point. Cami Sorelli and her partner, Holly McPeak, are ahead by four over Nancy Rock. Nancy Reno and Angela Rock. Sorelli with a the serve. They have been better. They've scrambled more. They've played better. Rock and Reno just have not been able to get it going. Well, they have not been aggressive from out, the Reno middle of this and game, Rock and you hit it right on the head. Sorelli and McPeak have just worked harder and scrambled 10, much, much better. 14. Rock and Reno, basically a power team, a termination team. And they've been outscrambled. Sorelli. Looking for a point. Rock. Dink score. The Pink and Sorelli do not like that set. I thought it was mangled by Angela Rock, but finally a point scoring point opportunity Reno converted Rock. by Rock and Reno. The Rock and Reno trying to come back here. They trail 14 to 11. Once again, Cammie Sorelli in line, blue on the left, Holly McPeak in 4th of July, group. colors on okay, the right, no, looking for their good. second ever tournament win together. They won a little earlier this year in San Antonio, Texas, and what a win this would be. Cammie Sorelli playing with the injured foot. She has been very, very good at the net, terminating. See her left foot with the partially dislocated toe. Yes, actually playing in a sneaker. And her partner, the fiery one, Holly McPeak, Rock and Reno, however, just scored a point moments ago, 14 to 11. McPeak and Sorelli lead here. And Reno, a service error. The game has just not been there for Rock and Reno. The termination game. Have not better defense. Well, Rock and Reno have not blocked well. They have not capitalized on point scoring opportunities. Second championship point. Sorelli McPeak. Go, go, couldn't do it. Nice shot, lob over the top. And so Angela Rock will put the ball in play. By far the strongest player on tour is Angela Rock. Once bench press 120 pounds. 
Nice set. Big play here. Looking for a point. Rock again. And Rock. Oh, nice kick by McPeak. And she hits it down. That's been the match. Out hustle, out scramble. You make your own luck. You get in the right spot, work hard to stay low defensively, playing the angle. And Rock and Reno just have been unable to capitalize. One-handed stab by Holly McPeak and Sorelli with a good-looking save. Third championship point. Sorelli McPeak. Trouble jam, and that's it. Sorelli McPeak win over Rock and Reno. Well, they earned it. Scrambled, really covered the court, and, and emotionally, I tell you, they were separated at first. Love that.